Yeah, you can see my screen, right? This is the answer for yeah. uh, previous day, like printing yeah. one, two, three. Here for i in range of one comma five, bec- uh, I took uh, one comma five because uh, the starting num- uh, number of times the the thing was printed was one and two, three, four. Uh, I took near till five because uh, four uh, till four only it will be printing because the end value will not be considered. And from there I took uh, for j in range of i, I printed the i. That's it. Uh, and mm. I used n equal to uh, space where we discussed it uh, previously. And I need some new line, so I put uh, print after the for loop, yeah. so that it moves back to the new line. That's it. That, that's the whole concept. Yeah, today today's concept is like nothing but user defined functions. You can say method or functions user defined functions and. And we have uh, something concept called local variable and local. global variable. Uh, we have one more thing, uh, non-local variable. We will not be discussing it here. Uh, we'll discuss it in further classes uh, due to time constraints. And here, uh, the first thing, uh, what is a function actually? Uh, just a sec. Here, what is a function means? Uh, function can be defined as. Actually, functions. Uh, the word uh, itself means it does something or some actions. We have like uh, we have two type of functions two type of functions uh, mainly user defined and other thing pre-built inbuilt or pre-built or or we can call we can state like Keywords, keywords. These are the things. Uh, mainly, we discussed uh, keywords uh, previously. Uh, we discussed like print like, uh, for if everything uh, that is de- defined previously by Python uh, inside uh, standard libraries of Python. They are all called uh, pre-built or uh, keywords. But what is user defined function? Uh, let me show you what is the use of it, uh, and I will let me show you what what does it do. The syntax for creating uh, creating a user defined function is using def. We are just defining some function, some new function. Then function name. Uh, let me put hello, hello, hi then we should be giving it a uh, parameter uh, the main thing in user defined functions you user defined functions functions deal with arguments arguments are number of uh, parameters arguments are number of parameters that we number of parameters that we use <laughs> let me show you bro def function was using for the only definition or uh, like are you samuel Def function means it was a definition of your function or like yeah, it is uh, it's MC for defining it. some user defined yeah. function. Uh, it can be like sometimes it is using like a ten. Uh, I uh, cannot ten hear you. Uh, can you be little uh, louder? Yeah, sometimes def function also using for a temporary uh, function also. 
ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਟੈਂਪ ਟੈਂਪਰਰੀ ਸਟੋਰ ਡੇਟਾ ਸਟੋਰੇਜ ਆ ਲੈ ਟੈਂਪਰ ਟੈਂਪਰਰੀ ਪਾਰਟ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਦ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਡੀਪਰ ਵੀ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਲੀ ਯਾ ਓਕੇ ਸੋਰੀ ਸੋਰੀ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟਿੰਗ ਹੇ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਇਟ ਜਸਟ ਸਿੰਪਲੀਫਾਈਸ ਆਵਰ ਟਾਸਕਸ ਨਾਓ uh i i created some function hello hi that's fine here now i need to call it uh, hello hi and i should be using parenthesis now if you see hello hi is printed it is doing some work now when again when we see instead of uh, repeating the same code print hi, hey how are you we are just do a calling the function hello hi it does the same work Uh, did you get it or if you have some extra lines of code like uh, if you have the same line of code diff to be control c yeah you, uh, here nearly we have three print statements now if we try to call it uh, you can see uh, just by calling the name we got three print statements accessed it is just for simplifying our task um uh, like we can say we will be writing the code at a single time and we will be calling the fun- inside a function and we can just call the all the actions that can be done or all the functions that are defined inside the function uh, by just uh, calling the name of it and the uh, we have uh, three different types of user defined uh, we, we basically we have two user defined in functions first thing is no parameter parameter function and second one parameterized function the ba- the basic difference is here we didn't use any attributes or anything here inside a uh, parenthesis so while ca- accessing the function we no need to put up any uh, parameters like that this is no parameterized like uh, no parameter user defined function this is and then we go for the second type mm, uh, here we give some some type of uh, variable or variables here we uh, define let me give, uh, put it uh, hello welcome let me put it some welcome welcome of uh, name it is uh, here it's just a variable name it uh, exact it cannot uh, it, it does not want to be like only name or you can define a b c d uh, the variable name that you are defining it's your wish but it should be meaningful so that the coder or other uh, reader Uh, who reads our code understands it print hey how sorry i should be putting everything in quotes hey how are you comma i will be putting name that's it now if i call now i will define it in the next line i will be calling it welcome if i call directly the welcome you will be uh, telling that missing one required positional argument name here previous case we didn't mention any parameter inside the parenthesis while defining the function so how many number of attributes or parameters we define while starting or while uh, access, uh, while creating the user defined function we should be passing the same amount of or same number of parameters and we have some other concept like variable parameters type of thing that would be discussed tomorrow because the tomorrow concept is uh, variable parameters or variable arguments now i should be passing some name uh, let me pass nikhil and it should be quotes quotation because we are passing some string or some value you can see uh hey how are you nikhil uh, the name is replaced by nikhil 
this is parameterized uh, function we can define one more like this welcome um, name comma age comma class print it and one more thing it's only not for pr uh, printing and everything i will be doing some more arithmetic operations also using this uh, we'll get to get deep over like print uh, i am comma name comma with age comma in in class comma i will be putting class that's fine here and one more thing uh, you cannot be using club you uh, key user defined or predefined keywords uh, as a variable name the that is the rule uh, while creating uh, variables uh, did we discuss uh, the rules while creating the variables samuel no 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 yeah we will we will discuss it and here i will uh, standard i will be mentioning it standard because uh, class uh, you uh, we have something like classes and objects mm -hmm. so we should not be using predefined or uh, inbuilt uh, keyboard names yeah just yes, yes. instead of class we using cls also na no? yeah it's fine uh, we can use any name except keywords yeah okay now if i try to uh, do it nikhil in, in print column in, 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 after age in class also there na no? after class in after age in class in uh, after age yeah in class comma standard i have mentioned yeah okay now let uh, here how many arguments we have if we have three so i i should be passing the things should be in order whatever like when we give age here like 90 if we give here and i if i press nikhil uh, comma standard is uh, eighth standard if i do like this you can check it will check i am 90 with nikhil in class 8 we should maintain the same order that we give for the variable or uh, that we give for the function because it takes in a order now uh, i will be printing nickel comma my age is 80 and 8th class i am nickel with 80 uh, and we can print here with age that would be making sense yeah i am nikhil with age jd in class 8 that's fine here till now we only saw uh, some something like a uh, only print statement now we will go for square squaring uh, define one new function squaring i will define for x x is some variable name it can be anything or you can ca just call number also num number also now i will be putting num we have one thing called return the main uh, what till now we didn't return anything we just printed it but now we are going to return i will tell you why uh, i am saying like this uh, return number into number There, that's it now uh, squaring squaring of num sorry i should be defining something with 90 you can check here like uh, it, it's returning it's similar to print print squaring of 90 but previously when i do like uh, print the same thing control c control v if i do the same thing with here you can check uh, i can i am nikhil 
uh, with e class 8 it is printing in the second time also but it is returning none you can check it right some none value is uh, getting arised there because it is uh, the function it's not returning anything it's just doing some action some printing it's done doing like but here when we do we are we are asking it to return and uh, we can uh, use print statement also here we can use for loops also here print uh, square of we can uh, for number is and we have one more concept format strings i would be discussing everything like yeah now you can see square of 90 is 8100 or we uh, we can just make it more sense by using end because we're in print statement we, uh, we don't uh, we, we should be putting end uh, end so that uh, it will not go go for next line you understood the concept here like uh, we are just returning some value uh, uh, the function it returns some value and it also do some action action here in the self uh, printing something here you can see square of 90 is 8100 right now we will be moving little deeper uh, defining the same question you are uh, that we had it like one Two, two. I would be solving using functions here. Three, three, four, four, four. Sorry, one more four. Okay, fine. Now I am defining pattern one. I, I am giving my own name. Pattern one of number. F here I am giving some. Uh, number like uh, it's my wish for i in range of number one comma number plus one we can say uh, tell like number plus one for not getting the zero and for j in i print i comma end equal to the same code that we printed there and uh, we need to move to the next line after this loop so i am printing something nothing i am printing like now when i do it just uh, i will be the pattern one of 55 sorry i should be running it pattern one of 55 in the object is not a trouble what is the thing why it should raise the some error for i in range of for, uh, sorry uh, here i didn't mention range that's the issue here range of yeah pattern of uh, i will mention five in the object is not iterable i have oh i didn't run it now nope. now it works fine you can see pattern one of five it gives me pattern one of 67 it gives me 67 lines like you can check it here we got some easy way it's some easy method uh, to create our own input on something like pattern one of 12 you can check here i got the same pattern but just say changing the numbers or we can ch check uh, pattern one of five and i will in other line i will enter pattern one of one of six now check it instead of writing the whole code for i in range just i am defining the function and changing the value that's it here we are just changing the value that's it uh, we are not re rewriting the whole code a uh, whole five lines of code or 70 lines of code or 100 lines of code we are not repeating the code we are just defining it in bro, a bro. function and making it uh, Nickel, bro. yeah just a second
I have one doubt. Yeah, you can. Yeah. In in I in a parlo in first lo in I. Okay. He mentioned one comma num plus one ma. Yes. But you didn't uh, mention the uh, uh, depend any number you number is equal to number you number. yeah here we uh, we are passing some variable for a function okay okay uh, and you can do like uh, for when you when you want only single type of answer uh, you can use non non parameterized uh, function you can just uh, no need to define num and you can just put for i in range of one comma four like that okay. Here I am just uh, giving some uh, user input like type of thing. Uh, just uh, indirectly asking the user to give some input uh, for every different type. Like I am not uh, repeating the lines of code every uh, logic again and again, but just calling the function uh, which is uh, which is already storing the logic. That's it. Here and the num num is a variable. Just we are uh, putting some variable or parameter while defining the function. So we have to uh, use the say uh, use single parameter because we only define uh, num as a parameter. So here we will be using uh, pattern one of five single parameterized uh, function or something pattern one of five or pattern one of six. But when we use pattern one of five comma six, it will uh, raise some error because I will show you the same thing also. What uh, what happens if if, if we and guys using functions um like uh, let me let me put it uh, 5 comma 6 see here it takes only one positional argument but two were given like we are uh, we defined only one parameter while uh, doing it but now it shows uh, it is asking like we are giving it two parameters so it, it doesn't take it uh, it rises and some error okay uh, now now we solve the yesterday problem using this uh, function and guys whenever you have some repetition of code you just use functions it would help us better but only thing i will tell you what is the difference uh, between real time and uh, uh, normal usage here let me Control C. Rather defining I here. Value was not defined, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be defining it. Number equal to fifty six or four. Let me. You'll get the answer. But you can check the same code. I will show you one more type of control B. Number is equal to four. Number is equal to four. Mm, it's not working, right? Yeah, let me print it. Def pat pattern two of I will be using non parameterized thing. I will define num equal to one, num equal to four, maybe. When I try to, when I when you try to print here after this, when you try to print the value of four, like uh, when when you try to print the value of number, and I will try to print the value of number here. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we just change the variable because it will not be assigned again and again. Here if you see 4 will be printed but here when you see 
number one is not defined but we defined it right here we defined it inside a function inside a function so or inside a function or loop or something like that it uh, is considered as a local variable local variable it is all it works only but if we try to print it here if we try to print it inside the loop print number okay when we try to num number one uh, pattern pattern two yeah fine now if we try to execute it you can see the four is printed because uh, we are uh, calling the number one inside the loop only because it is local variable it cannot be accessed outside the uh, outside the function these are all lo local variables but this one is a global variable global variable it can be accessed because it is created uh, in the main main file uh, everything here is a main file it is not created uh, inside loops or inside uh, functions or type of thing so it can be called inside the main file and we'll be getting four but here it poses some error num1 is not defined but inside the loop we got that value this is local variable okay fine local variable and okay but i need to print it but i need uh, i will define only inside it but i need it uh, to be printed now check check the magic mm, invalid syntax global variable sorry uh, i don't get just as a guys yeah guys here uh, when we have to define it uh, global uh, x is global of num one. I don't remember the syntax. I I, I should say check with it. Uh, for uh, as of now, uh, let us discuss about global and uh, global variable and local variable. Uh, Samuel, what is a global variable actually? Yeah, global variable means it is uh, defined as uh, uh, above or the. Uh, uh, it means the, the main. The yeah, main thing main is it, it can be accessed everywhere, everywhere inside. Like uh, yeah, now, I told you. Mentioned in a main function above the main function. Now. Yes, and now yeah. if we print inside uh, this print number. Uh, it's a global variable no we will not be getting any error like uh, wait let me comment it now if you pr try to print it you will you will not be posted any error because this is global variable it can be accessed global var variable it can be accessed it can be accessed anywhere even inside inside functions local variable it is only accessed only accessed inside the defined environment you can say defined environment environment itself uh, it nothing but a function or loop or something like the environment okay uh, here and one more thing uh, can you uh, tell me some uh, some of the local variables that are in our uh, thing uh, in this we have some local variables here uh, in these two lines uh, can you guys guess what are the local variables there mm -hmm. no, no. Uh, we have defined for i in range of 1 comma num comma 1 num plus 1 here i will be a local variable because it can be accessed only inside that for loop it cannot be accessed outside the for loop L uh, let me show you one example here only like here j it is uh, like when we try to print it outside the loop it posts us some error i guess no it's not posting like 
no indentation error sorry it defined inside this tab inside this only like uh, j if i try to print it outside the loop what happens it's working fine um, okay the final thing uh, finally the j is getting assigned here like it changes let me have a look at it yeah it is changing itself like here we don't have, we don't have anything like a local variable here because we can access it outside the loop also uh, i was confused uh, here we don't have any local variables we have some other concept called non local variables uh, some uh, it, these comes under some non local variable type of things uh, when we will be confused when we go deeper into that so i am just skipping uh, this part like global variables and local variables uh, are they are we clear with global and local variables and these would help us inside yeah. uh, uh, classes and objects also this is the main concept global variable and local variable it's a most important thing uh, please be sure of it uh, if you have any uh, doubt in local and what is local variable and global variable you can just post it here thank you you can just ask me are we clear with uh, global and local variable yeah yeah fine uh today's concept everything is uh, cleared uh, just user defined functions we know how to de define uh, user defined functions uh, we have covered nearly like uh, we have two types of functions uh, user defined and pre built or in built functions like we can say keywords also now other uh, the inside user defined function we have two types no parameter parameterized in parameter no parameter function we will be using like nikhil uh, nikhil yeah या दिस इज हाउ वी मेमिक द प्रीवेडिफाइन फंक्शन नाउ वी विल बी गोइंग फॉर आवर प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक मेथड्स देर वी स्टॉप्ड इन स्ट्रिंग्स एंड आई नीड टू एड यू लाइक वन मोर वन मोर मेथड विच इज मोस्ट यूजफुल थिंग before operate yes here we are and we have one thing replace replace method in string uh and let let me go through what are the methods that we covered here previously so that we'll get a glance back we covered list methods and string methods in list methods we covered adding adding we we will be doing by append extend and uh, insert and removing we will be doing by uh, remove and pop and we have uh, we have completed uh, slicing slicing is done by end value st start value end value and step value and here uh, after that we uh, we went for string methods there also we we saw some uh, slicing and we 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 saw some type conversion and everything here we saw some type conversion from single uh, from everything to other thing uh, other data type and we saw so how to define empty strings and we how to define empty lists like that and here triple quotes is for multi line uh, quotation multi line strings or multi line comments or some for documentation like uh, like that uh mainly uh, triple quotes is used for documentation like uh, whenever we have some module le let me show you some example here uh import numpy numpy dot yeah you can see something like uh, some uh, something written here this is this is all uh, written inside triple quotes in the module or uh, if uh, not there uh, 
uh, you can see here this uh we have some documentation here Th these all documentation will be done using triple quotes okay and uh, for getting help or what are the functions that are inside uh, a thing uh, inside a function we'll be using dict uh, dict and double underscore these are all magic methods wherever we get a double underscore uh, from before and after that uh, variable or uh, keyword we they are called magic methods this is the magic method for getting everything uh, inside uh, like what uh, what is present inside that uh, let us discuss here uh, depot when when we go by uh, go to magic methods but let's let's have a small look here when we discuss lower upper title capitalize lower it low it converts into lower case upper it converts into upper case title it converts into uh, it converts every words first letter into caps and capitalize uh, only the first letter of the line is made into upper case then we we got uh, slicing of strings then we got splitting uh, concatting concatting uh, we just use plus symbol uh, concatting is nothing but joining two or more strings and we uh, we did join method uh, where we converting we converted some list into some uh, string you can see it here by using some delimiter something called delimiter this is called as delimiter uh, the separator it, whenever uh, interviewer ask you what is delimiter don't freak out separator is also called as separator is also called as delimiter don't worry it's it's just separator now i i want to discuss only one method like replace it is most important like uh, let me define one string string one two is equal to hey i am here now i want print string one you know it uh, like strings are immutable we cannot change it um, print so i am printing it or uh, string i should be reassigning the thing because strings are immutable even tuples are immutable uh, string one dot replace of uh, I, I am replacing h letter with hi I am replacing like this and I will be printing the string one two yeah this is very important this is used in pandas also string is string one what is, okay okay here we did we didn't define string one string one two it's stupid yeah now you can see h is replaced with hi wherever h is there it is replaced with hi this is replace method and we we can have one more example for this control m and replace method string 1 3 is equal to i am not coming and you can replace it like print string it's actually not modifying the original thing because we are not reassigning it we are just printing the result that's it replace uh, of i comma i am okay we can uh, print how many lines of code you want we can print thousand lines also here inside uh, for replay after the sec i mean the first parameter is what we are searching for and the second parameter is uh, what we want to replace it with here you can see I am okay. Not uh, you can see. Uh, Nickel. Yes. Hello, Nickel. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now we have discussed replace method. Uh, let us try it. Uh, whether does it work for list? List one. List one is equal to one comma two comma three comma four. One. Uh, and list one dot replace of one comma to two let's try it 
this has no attribute replace it doesn't have any attribute replace but we can uh, do it some modif one modif hi comma hello comma pola we can use like uh, we can for i in list one i in i told you uh, re if i want to mod uh, modify every single uh, like every single thing uh, every single string inside here and i uh, i will just simply uh, modify uh, range of i need to length uh, have length for uh, applying this function just a second we will have one more access and we'll leave uh, for i in range of re length of list one length uh, list list to one of i here i am taking the index index and i am as reassigning it list to one of i dot replace of h comma y when I try to print list one, yeah, you can see everything is real. But I have one uh, small uh, like uh, exercise for you here for with replace. I have list one is equal to one comma two comma three comma hi comma hello. comma hola uh, guys now i want to replace only strings because the replace method is only valid for strings only strings inside the list inside the list uh do you play this is a home like uh, exercise uh, just uh, complete it by tomorrow We'll meet up in the tomorrow class. Yeah, just any more doubts like in diff functions and everything. Um.